everyone. Um, all right, so first of all, thank you and welcome to new subscribers. And um, yes, if you subscribed because you were interested in a free reading, um, I just wanted to say, just a quick catch up before I do the reading, just a couple of quick announcements. First of all, I am going to be doing some more free readings, um, but they will be a competition. I'm going to do two free readings at the end of July, and I might make that a regular thing. So, I, but I just thought it would be nice to do some readings that would allow me to reach more people, to help more people. Um, so I've split these up in signs, so I'm doing readings for all signs and um, for the month of July. But what I'll do is I will look to see which of the videos has been the most popular. In other words, which ones received the most comments and likes and things like that. And then from that video, if everyone just makes sure that they comment under the video, when they comment, they do mention whether or not they'd like to have a free reading. If you want to comment just for commenting, that's great, that's fine as well. Um, but what I'll do is I will choose from the most popular video, I'll take all the names of people who've said they'd like a reading and I'll put them in a hat at the end of July and then I will do three free readings which will be posted on the channel. So if you've looked at the free readings um, playlist and you've seen those, you'll see what I mean, you'll know what I'm talking about and you could have one of those. Those are on display because they're completely free and that was kind of the agreement. Um, but if you do book a private reading, all the details are under the um, video in the description box. That is completely private. You get a completely private link sent to you or it might be audio or it might be on Skype. But either way, if you do book a reading with me, it is completely private. But if I do one of these um, giveaway things and you win a free reading, that will be posted on the channel. That's it. Thank you so much um, again for coming to watch the video and I hope you have a fantastic July and I'll speak to you soon. Hello lovely Cancerians and welcome to your reading for July, your Angel Scope, Tarot Scope and Astrological Overview for July 2017. And for you, um, it's all happening in your first house. So it's really going to be about you deciding who you want to be um, for the next 12 months, really. It's a chance for you to upgrade yourself. It's a chance for you to look at how you're nourishing and nurturing yourself, um, whether you're being good to yourself in your current circumstances, environment, mindset, way of being, um, just in every level, the way you look, the way you present yourself. Um, you're wanting to have an upgrade in all of those areas. So let's just have a quick shuffle. And um, you're wanting to have an upgrade in, within yourself in order to experience a better sense of emotional well-being. So let's shuffle the cards and see. Um, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, please show me what I need to see for those born under the sign of Cancer for July 2017, the month of July 2017. Stop. Okay. So, first of all, we've got patience. So, it's almost as if you're waiting to hear about something, Cancer. It's almost as if you're waiting to hear about something that's going to have some kind of impact on your life. Because, you know, if you get that card when it's your birthday month, if you like, um, what that says to me is that you are, you're waiting for something that's quite important. You're waiting for something that you feel is going to bring change because we often feel that we want things to change. This year is going to be better. I'm not going to get to such and such an age without having done this, this or this. So it feels exciting and a little bit momentous, but I do feel that you're having to just be patient. Um, I also feel you could be having to be patient with someone. So, or with a place, uh, like a work environment, or a home situation, or something that you feel isn't giving you the love, and you're having to just say, okay, look, I've just got to deal with this for a little bit longer, and then it's going to be okay when such and such happens. So, but it could be um, 
you know, there's a sense that you have to make things happen as well because it's your month, so you really do, it's a take charge kind of energy for you, definitely. And you have got a lot of support. I think um, you can have Venus in your sign as well. So it really is time for you to trust that you're going to be okay with making decisions and moving ahead. And the patience comes in with... Um, you know, if you're waiting to hear about a particular thing because you've already sown the seed, so to speak, just breathe and trust that the right thing is on its way to you. Okay, and what's crossing you there? Third eye chakra. So, um, it often indicates that there is quite a lot of um, psychic awakening happening, some dream activity, a lot happening around that um, part of the body, the head, um, maybe some headaches, maybe you need to just sort of uh, close the shutters sometimes and just meditate and just be at one, be alone with yourself while you're waiting because it's this pairing that happens at the beginning is really important because you're being asked to be patient but at the same time you can't exactly see it's like you're trying to see ahead see what's ahead don't let that stress you out too much if it's too much pressure for you waiting then maybe you haven't taken enough action because the thing that's coming to you um you know doesn't have to come with struggle so maybe keep putting the feelers out there for other possibilities rather than relying and waiting for just one thing to come in. Um, and again, you know, with being patient, sometimes we have to be patient with the particular phase of our lives that we're in and trust that if we keep putting the activity and the right actions forward, that something will at some point evolve in the right direction. Okay. Patience and planning. It's all about patience for you in July, Cancer. It's all about patience and planning and making sure that you get the steps right before you um, leap along the path. So even though you need to be taking charge and you need to be taking action, you also need to get very clear about what you want. So, you know, not just kind of charging ahead and, and hoping that everything's going to just sort of fall into place. If you just sort of run, you know, don't, don't just bolt out of the door. Take your time to plan things properly. And, um, and that's where the patience comes in as well. Okay, so balance. Balance, patience, planning, patience. It's just all really interesting, isn't it? So what the experience that you've had recently, the experiences that you've been having recently have been teaching you is balance. They've been teaching you how to find balance within yourself in the midst of chaos. That's my sense. And I'm just hearing chaos. So I feel there has been a lot of chaos around you. There has been a lot of sorting, sorting the wheat from the chaff, a lot of dealing with intense situations, which is quite often the case for Cancerians anyway, because they feel things. You feel things so in intensely. You're so sensitive. I don't know whether um, the rest of the zodiac understands just how sensitive you are and how much you feel things. But this has been your biggest challenge in recent years, and I would say we're going back two, three, possibly four years, around the three year mark for most people, where you've been tested and tested and tested and things have been extremely intense. And you know, there's been an impact on your energy, on your en energy bodies, on your time, and on your patience as well. And you've had to learn how to stay within balance in the middle of all this. So for what purpose? Let's just see what you've moved out of. Okay, so you've been much more hopeful uh, recently, so it's as if you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Some things have kind of been sorted out, um, some things in your immediate environment have improved. There have been some changes that have made it easier for you to think, okay, maybe I can focus on me now. So let's just see. Emotional withdrawal. Okay, so... Again, it looks as if there is still more time for you to be um, making sure that you are very clear before you move ahead, but do not withdraw completely. Do not, there's too much kind of navel gazing. I know that sounds really horrible, I don't mean it to sound horrible, but that's what this looks like. There is a time to evaluate, there is a time for deep self healing, there is a time and a place for releasing emotional wounding, clearing our energy, um, making sure that we're protected and in balance, doing our meditations, doing all those wonderful things that we can only find when we do withdraw. But then there does come a time to step back out into the world. 
okay? And I've just got a feeling that you could be doing more withdrawing if you're not careful. And um, let's just see what the rest of the cards say. I feel it's time for you to get out. Trapped in fear. You need to sh have a shift in perspective here because the universe is encouraging you forward. The universe is encouraging you forward and great things in the future are calling you towards them, calling you forward and asking you to believe in them and to trust them, asking you to believe in yourself and trust yourself. I'm seeing overalls, so I feel it's almost like a new, um, a new place, a new environment, a new work situation for some people. If you've been at home for a long time, not working, or if you've been in a job for a long time that you're just not happy in and you know it's time for change, or if you're in a marriage or a home or a situation that is just not serving you, um, it's time to cut the shackles because it feels as if if you continue the way that you're going, you're just going to become more and more withdrawn and feel less and less empowered. And now more than ever, it's time for you to realise that you are much more powerful than you think, Cancer. And July, it's, your, it's the month of your birthday, the sun's in your sign, you've got a lot of astrological support, you've got a lot of environmental support, um, you know, in terms of just this sense that it's time and you've got support from your guides and from your angels and your higher self asking you to take charge and to move forward, okay? But to do it with patience and planning and skill and balance and to decide so that when you do move forward, you move forward with certainty, believe in yourself, believe it can change and you can do it and then there won't be any sliding back into the old ways or the old life or the old um, experience that you had, okay? All right, so your environment, a little bit concerned about survival, a little bit concerned about material issues and, um, you know, how are you going to get this to work out, how are you going to sort things out, how are you, if you do leave this situation, you want to make sure that the next situation is going to, you know, look after you as well, look after, help you to look after your material needs in the same way or in a better way. So, um, but you're being asked to really keep things in balance because seeing these two cards together, it's almost like, um, you know, when we overstay in situations that are not for our highest good because we're afraid we can't make it on our own. That's kind of what that um, combination looks like. Or we stay in a job that's stultifying because we're afraid that we won't be able to do any better as they say, okay? So it's time for you to break out of that mindset and prove to yourself that you can do a lot better by going out there and seeing what's out there and, and you know, going for different things. Don't just sit around there. That, that patience thing, that could almost be um, reversed where you're being too patient and you're being too reliant on one thing that you might be waiting for. And um, you need to make more things happen and therefore make more things a possibility to come into your reality. Okay, so what you're hoping for, of course, is victory and success. You're also a little bit afraid. I feel you're also a little bit afraid of, of having too much power, too much success. Um, I'm not sure what that's about, but that's for you to, to figure out. Almost as if you don't want things to get too big, that's the sense that I've got there. But I do feel that your desire to overcome your current circumstances is much greater than that fear now. So you actually, um, it's much more a hope than a fear, I would say. And the outcome, let's just see where you're moving towards sacral chakra. It's all about manifestation and creativity. That's quite good, actually. That's really good. And what it's saying to you is, see it the way you want it to be. Create it. Remember that you are a creator. Don't get stuck in the doldrums, you know, in that sort of, look at this pair together. Just being withdrawn and trapped within yourself. That's what it is. You know, none of these things are real, these external things. It's all, it all happens in the mind. You can have a different mindset and, and have a completely different experience. And look at all the eights there. It's very much saying to you, um, it's it's the end of a cycle. It's time for things that don't serve you to end to come to an end. It's time for you to wrap certain things up. 
you know, it might be that some things need to change dramatically. No one's telling you, you know, the cards aren't going to tell you, spirit aren't going to tell you what to do or how to live your life. But there's already a sense within yourself that you are trapped within something that doesn't serve you and that it's time to make a change. And there is a fear of whether you can handle a big change, okay? So, um... And also a fear that you won't succeed. That's the other interpretation here. And what this card is saying is, it's all about what you decide. If you decide you can do it, you know you've succeeded before. You know you've had great experiences in the past where you have trusted yourself and you've gone forward and you've been able to make incredible things happen and you can do it again. Let's see what card comes out with that one. Spiritual union. Okay, so... It looks as if, if for those who are considering um, changing things within a relationship or leaving a relationship, it looks as if when you trust yourself and trust that you are the creator of your experience and that you can make changes, there is a much better quality of relationship waiting for you. It could be an upgrade in your current relationship where you express your real feelings, where you stand up for yourself if that's the case, where you are very, very clear about what's working, what's not working for you, and things shift. If you are very clear about what's right for you and what you deserve, things will either shift and change around you or something better will come in. Okay, let me just shuffle because it's your birthday month, Cancer. I've decided that I'm going to make this slightly longer for you. So let's just see what else is waiting for Cancerians if they make a decision and they don't withdraw. They don't see themselves as being trapped. How will Cancerians' courage be rewarded in the month of July? Let's stop there. Sacrifice, okay. There may be things that you will have to sacrifice in order to get what you want. Okay, so, ah, oh, that's great. Okay, so, oh, I love it that you got both of those cards. I was a little bit worried when I saw that one. So, this one on its own. What it's basically saying is that, yes, the things that you're doing at the moment might feel a bit risky. The things that you're considering, the changes that you're considering making, they might feel a bit risky. But what you'll get as a reward for making the sacrifices that you need to make. In other words, maybe taking um, a, a, a pay cut to do something that fulfills you more. Not that that's a belief that, that you have to have. You can do something hugely fulfilling that pays you really, really well. But um, at the moment, it seems that there are some Cancerians who are experiencing that option, that they might be asked to, to accept less for doing something that feels more comfortable and that gives them that sense of emotional well-being, which is really what you're about at the moment. Um, but even if you do have to accept that, or if you have to walk away from something that feels secure and safe emotionally and make sacrifices in that sense, you will then be able to build on a new foundation that's much more solid, that's much more who you are and what you're about. And that does, and I love it that we've got this, um, this very homely, secure card for Cancer, for your final card, because that's really, Cancerians love that. They are very much about home and family and feeling secure and feeling emotionally nurtured. And we're in your month at the moment. So be reassured that you will get that, that you will have the potential to start building that kind of foundation on rock solid ground when you start to make the decisions and choices and sacrifices that you feel in your heart are appropriate for you to make at this time. Now, I'm gonna do um, your past, present and future from the dolphins and mermaids cards because of all this water and because I think you'll respond really well to it and I love these cards. So, what can we say? Overall, for Cancerians, um, past, present, and future, with regard to the month of July, or possibly the beginning, middle, and end of July, and what they need to know. So, past, blessed change, a major life change brings you great blessings. So, there is a change that it looks as if, you know, this mermaid's on her head. So, it's something that could have turned you upside down. This is what you've, you've moved through recently big change um, that needed to happen in your life and it could just be a change of perception it could just be that you realized okay 
I need to do something now. Something needs to happen. Okay, or it could be something that, that looked awful to begin with, but you're actually realizing now it's actually a bit of a blessing. So, where are you now? Time to move on. So whatever this was, it could have been the catalyst that made you realize that you need to make some changes, big changes. Time to move on from a particular phase of your life or a particular situation or um, a job or circumstance or a way of seeing things or a group of people. You'll know what it is, a project. It could be anything at all that has not been working out. And I feel for quite some time now, Cancer, and it's time for you to see that and to give yourself a chance to believe that you can make things, that better things happen. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. And what's the future if Cancer moves into that? Look at that, pure positive energy, which goes with this manifesting card, that when you believe that you can do it, you can do it. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Avoid negativity at all costs anyway, Cancer. Please don't dwell on the past, don't hold on. Just let go and allow yourself to be carried by this wave of positive energy that is waiting to bring you into a much better future. So that's it for July. July is a big turning point for you, realising that in order to get the best out of this month and out of the next 12 months ahead, you are going to need to make some changes that will allow you to see yourself and your life in a much more positive way and in that respect manifest a much, much nicer um, reality and future for yourself. Okay, uh, take care Cancer, I hope you have a fantastic month and if you'd like to have book a reading with me, um, all the links are below the video. Take care, see you next month, bye.